Hummingbird is, is from um, Even So, which would have been my, my fifth collection. Um, some new poems and a, a selection from the previous books. Um, I write a, a lot about birds. And um, in this case, I was actually doing a kind of residency um, in the Adirondacks in, in upstate New York. Um, in a place called Blue Mountain, which is right up in the mountains by a beautiful lake. And one day I, I saw a, a hummingbird, um, and I hadn't expected to see one uh, at all in that place. And uh, I, I was just overwhelmed um, by seeing it. I'd always wanted to see one. And it was, it was just wonderful um, to actually see it. And it stayed around, and um, I kind of got to know it in a way. Um, and it was so wonderful that uh, I suppose part of me almost wanted it to, to mean something. Um, I was thinking, you know, in the old days you, you probably could have fitted this into a wider narrative. It might have been part of the, um, part of the creation designed by God. Um, it might have been a sign of the essential benevolence of, of nature. Um, and I guess nowadays, we, you know, those grand narratives are, are gone. Um, but in this poem, I, it kind of divides into two halves in a way. One half is description. And the second half um, is, is kind of, you know, leaning towards some kind of narrative to fit it into. Uh, I, I suppose I'm, I'm being a bit nostalgic for, for wider meaning. And in the end, you know, it, it can't be found. <clears throat> this is Hummingbird. Not just how it hung so still in the quick of its wings, all gem and temper anchored in air. Not just the way it moved from shelf to shelf of air, up, down, here, there, without moving. Not just how it flicked its tongue's thread through each butter-yellow foxglove flower for its fix of sugar. Not just the vest's electric emerald, the scarf's scarlet, not just the fury of its berry-sized heart, but also how the bird would soon be found in a tree nearby quiet as moss at the end of a bare branch, wings closed around its sweetening being, and then how light might touch its throat and make it glow, as if it were the tip of a cigarette, smouldering on the lip of a world whose face in the lake's hush and the stir of leaves might appear for a moment composed. <clears throat> 